Hello and welcome to Shark Season 7. We are moving to the busy end of the Junior Sharks competition and today we have two teams vying for the next spot in the competition. So our team from Dahin Shelley School, please introduce yourselves. I am Abdul Jilin Mutawaku. Better. Nana Kwekwade. Kweli Desmond Isinam. Abdul Rahman Fadlan. You're welcome. That's our team from Dahin Shelley and our team from Petasco MA Basic. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Nyapo Princess Akofa Basic I'm 9. I'm Otto Pius Awena. I am Nyapo Benedict Edia. I am Esso Okai Wilina. You are welcome. Okay, so only four rounds stand between them and the next round. So let's see how we go. Dahin won the ballot and are going to go first with round one. Are we ready, gentlemen? Right, you have eight questions to answer in two minutes. When we get to the end of the round, if we still got some questions that you've passed on, I will repeat the question and you can try again. All right? Your battle is between the clock and yourselves. Your time starts after I've read the first question. Question one, on what day, month, and year was the United Nations organization, the UNO, founded? Pass. Second question, in which state was the UNO founded? United States. Um, no, I'll come back to that. Three, who was the seventh secretary general of the UN? Ufiano. Ufiano. Correct. Which country colonized Algeria? In France. Which country colonized Cap Cape Verde? Britain. Portuguese. Incorrect. Question six. Which country colonized Burundi? Britain. Incorrect. Which country is believed to have invented football? China. Incorrect. Question eight. Who was the Greek goddess of love and beauty? Athena. Incorrect. So your past questions. Question one. On what day, month, and year was the UNO, United Nations Organization, founded? 1947. That's incorrect. In which state was the, United, the UNO founded? New York. Incorrect, it was California we're looking for there. And which country colonized Cape Verde? Portuguese. I'll give that to you. Portugal is correct. And the others you already attempted. That brings us to the, next of the end of the round. Okay, well done to Dahin Shelley International. Ketasco, the same for you. Question one, which day, month, and year was the Organization of African Unity, the OAU, formed? Pass. Pass. Question two, in which city was the OAU formed? New York City. Incorrect. Question three, who was the first president of the AU? Pass. Question four, which country uses the following currencies? The Zloty. Pass. The Riyadh. Saudi Arabia. Correct. The Naira. Nigeria. Nigeria. Correct. The sky and thunder god of the ancient Greek mythology Zeus. is... Correct. Who is the most successful female tennis player in the world in the open era? Pass. Okay, so we're going to go back to your passes now. Which day, month, and year was the OAU, Organization of African Unity, formed? 24th January 1947. Incorrect. 25th May 1963, we're looking for. In which city was the OAU formed? Geneva. Incorrect. It was Addis Ababa we're looking for. Who was the first president of the AU? Mohamed Gaddafi. No, Thabo Mbeki is who we're looking for. Uh, your next pass was the currency Zloty. Which country? Pass. Okay, and the final one, who is the most successful female tennis player in the world in the open era? Pass. The answer to that one was Serena Williams. That brings us to the end of that round. Well done, Katasko. Okay, so at the end of round one, Dahin Shelley School have 30 points and Katasko MA Basic School also have 30 points. Okay, so before we move on to round two, we have a newbie on the Katasco team. Please introduce yourself. Ikuya Sika Welcome, Ikuya. 
Okay, so round two is the R cubed round. Questions are focusing on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school is posed the question for a maximum of 10 points. A wrong answer will attract a penalty of five. If a school gets the answer wrong or decides not to attempt it, it is passed onto the other team for a bonus to the competing school for a maximum of five points or a deduction of five if you get it wrong. So if it's your question, you get 10 points. If it's a bonus, you get five points. And any wrong answers is minus five. Are we all clear on that? Okay, so I'm going to start this time with Ketasco. You get the first question of this round. You are to choose the antonym of the word highlighted here from the choices I give you. Okay? First question. An important element of any good dance party is music with a great beat. Element is the word we're looking for the antonym for. Your options are A, integrated, B, component, C, part, D, Nullity. D. D is correct for your points. Well done. <laughs> Dahin, you get the second question. Same preamble. We're looking for the antonym. I am trying to eliminate mice in my house by using traps and poison. The word for the antonym is eliminate. Your options are A, dispose, B, subsume, C, eradicate, D, remove. Subsume. Subsume is correct. <laughs> Question three, same preamble, Katasko. An important element of any good dance party is music with a great beat. The word we're looking for here, however, is important. Important. So A, fundamental component. B, part. C, basic. D, peripheral. D. D is correct for the points. Ten points there. Dahin, the last question of this type. My techniques for baking bread are slightly unusual. Technique is the word we're looking for the antonym for. A, accomplish. B, strategies. C, maneuver. D, ineptitude. A. A is incorrect for the bonus, Ketasco. D. D is correct for the plus five. Right, so Ketasco, we're moving on to the next set of questions. The preamble here is choose the odd one out. I'm going to give you a sequence of words and you tell me which one is the odd one out. Okay? Your words are subsequent, prior, previous, older. Odd one out. Older. Older is incorrect for the bonus. Subsequent. Subsequent is good for the plus five. Well done, Diane. Dahin, your question, same preamble, odd one out. A, sparse. B, verdant. C, thriving. D, lush. Lush. Lush is incorrect. Ketasco for the bonus? Pass. pass. You're passing. Right? We're looking for sparse. Sparse. Same preamble, Ketasco. Satisfactory. Apposite. Defi sorry, deficient. Sustainable. Odd one out. B. B is incorrect. Dahin for the bonus? Satisfactory. That is also incorrect. We're looking for deficient. The last of these questions. Dahin, you get the options here. Odd one out. Heed. Discount. Motive. Benefit. Odd one out. D. D yes. is incorrect. Ketasco for the bonus? Pass. We're looking for B discount in that one. Right, so we're now moving on to the maths questions. Ketasco, you get the first of them. Are we ready? The average age of a family of 24 members is 132 years. If the age of the youngest member is 22 years, the average age of a family at the birth of the youngest member was what? Is it A, 75? B, 110, C, 100, or D, 95? 110. 110 is correct for the 10 points. <laughs> Dahin, your math question. In Abel's opinion, his weight is greater than 76 kilo, um, kilograms, but less than 83 kilograms. 
His sister doesn't agree with Abel, and she thinks that Abel's weight is greater than 71 kilograms, but less than 81 kilograms. His father's view is that his weight cannot be greater than 79 kilograms. If all of them are correct in their estimation, what is the average of the different probable integer weights of Abel? Is it A, 67, B, 68, C, 72, or D, 78? 30 seconds. Pass. Kitasko? Pass. <laughs> Very loud. The answer we're looking for there was 78. Listen clearly to the question. There were huge hints in there. Right. Kitasko, your question. Rakia can do the 12 times, sorry, 12 times the actual work in 72 days, while Hannah can do the one half of the original work in six days. In how many days will both working together complete six times of the original work? Is it A, 20 days, B, 25 days, C, 30 days, or D, 35 days? 30 days. 30 days is correct for 10 points. Darling, last question for you now. Ernest and Bismarck are two workers. Working together, they can complete their whole work in 20 hours. If Ernest worked for five hours and Bismarck worked for 17 hours, still there was half of the work to be done. In how many hours does Ernest work alone can complete the whole work? Is it A, 17 hours, B, 23 hours, C, 34 hours, or D, 37 hours? 30 seconds. 34 hours. 34. You are correct. 34 hours is the correct answer. Kitasko, another maths question. The curved surface area of a circular cone with a slant height of 10 centimeters and a base radius 10.5 centimeters is what? Is it A, 110 square centimeters, B, 330 square centimeters, C, 190 square centimeters, or D, 200 square centimeters. 30 seconds. 330 centimeters. You are correct. Well done. Darling, your question. The curved surface area of a circular cone is 308 square centimeters. Find its base radius if the slant height is 14 centimeters. Is it A, 7 centimeters, B, 14 centimeters, C, 12 centimeters, or D, 9.5 centimeters? 7 centimeters. 7. More confidence. You're correct. 7 centimeters. Okay, Kitasko, your last question of this round. A small village of 1,000 people requires 75 liters of water per head per day. They have a water reservoir that measures 20 meters by 25 meters by 15 meters. How many days will the water in the tank last? One day. One day is incorrect. Can I pass it over? Pass. pass. It's 100 days we were looking for, 100 days. Right, last question of this round. That goes to Dahin. A school provides milk to students daily in cylindrical glasses with a diameter 7 centimeters. If the glass is filled to a height of 12 centimeters, how much milk is needed to serve 1,000 students in a day? Pass. Pass. You're passing, OK. Pass. You're also passing. We were looking for 46.2 cubic centimeters. Okay? That brings us to the end of the R cube round. <laughs> All right, so at the end of the R cube round, Dahin Shelley School scored 15 points, Kitasco Basic um, School scored 40 points. A round of applause. Are you a motivated student interested in English, mathematics, science and computational thinking? You want to stay competitive with hundreds of thousands of smart students from across the globe? Welcome! 
to the Ghana Olympiad Academy. At the Ghana Olympiad Academy, we give access to students from grade 2 to SHS 3 to take part in international Olympiads. Candidates prepare and seat these exams online and get the chance to qualify for the Olympiads in rotating host nations across the world. Some of the international Olympiads include the International Junior Math Olympiad, Vanda Science Olympiad, Kangaroo Math, Hippo English Olympiad, Design Thinking, Robotics and Computational Thinking, amongst others. Join the Ghana Olympiad Academy today and catch up with the rest of the world academically. Go to www.ganaolympiadacademy.com or WhatsApp 0570-898-762 for more. Right, third round. Please listen to the rules. Questions are posed to both schools. Schools can buzz in at any time while I'm reading the question. You can get 10 points if your points you get the correct answer, but a deduction of five points for the wrong answer. The question will then be fully read and immediately passed to the other school for a chance of a bonus worth 10 points for the right answer, but again, a deduction of five points should they get it wrong. Are we all clear on that? So 10 points if it's correct, five point deduction if it's incorrect. Are we ready? Fingers on the buzzers. First question. A person has to push with greater force to begin moving a heavy crate across the floor. However, once the crate has begun to move, the person can push it with less force in order to move the object across the floor at a constant rate. Which of the following best explains such a phenomenon? Is it A, the coefficient of static friction is greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction, resulting in a greater frictional force before the object has begun to move? B, the coefficient of static friction is greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction, resulting in a greater frictional force after the object has begun to move? Or C, the coefficient of kinetic friction is greater than the coefficient of static friction, resulting in a greater frictional force before the object has begun to move? Or D, the coefficient of kinetic friction is greater than the co coefficient of static friction, resulting in a greater frictional force after the object has begun to move. D. D is incorrect. Right on the bell. E. A is correct. A is correct. <laughs> Question two. What is the main difference between the electromagnetic waves used by a radio and those used by a cell phone? No? The answer is the wavelength is the difference. Or if you said the frequency or the period, I've taken that. Question three. The skin's capacity for elasticity, characterized by its ability to stretch and then return to its original state, is attributed to the presence of a specific component. This component is crucial for maintaining the skin's structural integrity and resilience. Among the following options, which one is largely responsible for providing the skin with its stretchable and recoil properties? Is it A, melanin, B, carotene, C, collagen, or D, keratin? D, no, no. keratin. Keratin is incorrect. Pass. <laughs> Brilliant. I heard you. Uh, collagen was the answer we were looking for there. Collagen. Okay, question four. Which of the following is not a function of the hypothalamus? Is it A, regulating involuntary movements? B, regulating body temperature? C, regulating hunger and salt cravings? D, regulating blood pressure? C. C is incorrect. Okay, time is up. We are looking for A, regulating involuntary movements. Question five. What term is used to describe a disorder that is transmitted genetically from parents to offspring? Is it A, heritable, B, chronic, C, congenital, or D, communicable? Yes. A. A is correct. A is correct. Question six. The smallest non-divisible unit of a covalent compound 
is refers to as what? All right, we were looking for molecule, molecule. Question seven. Which of the following is closest to the percent of Earth's water that is in the form of ice? Is it A, 1.6%, B, 6.6%, C, 11.6%, or D, 16.6%? Okay, I was looking for A, 1.6%. Question 8. The Earth's core is believed to be composed primarily of what element? Right, that's you, Dahin? Ion. Ion is the correct answer, Dahin. <laughs> Question 9. The giant impact hypothesis holds that the body, sorry, holds that this body may have been created in the aftermath of a collision with the planet Theia. This body is home to dark basalt plains, which tricked ancient astronomers into believing they were made of water. The Sea of Tranquility, the landing point of Apollo 11, is the moon. You are correct, the moon. <laughs> Final question of this round. To measure the contribution of time dilation to this effect observed in light, Ives and Stillwell set up an experiment using canal ray tubes. In general relativity, this effect explains a cosmological effect described by Hubble's law. This effect, named for an Austrian physicist, was first hypothesized viewing binary stars and the color they emit. For the point, name this effect where an observer records a different frequency because the emitter is moving, best exemplified by a car driving past a stationary pedestrian. Yes. The Doppler effect. You are correct. The Doppler effect is correct from dying. Right, that brings us to the end of round three. Let's see what the scores are looking like. Right, so at the end of the STEM round, Darhin Shelley School scored 30 points, and Kitasco School scores five points. A round of applause, please. Well done to both teams. Okay, so we're going to move on to round four. This is the one-on-one -on -one round, now dubbed the G Money Round. In this round, each school will receive 50 Ghana CDs from G Money for every correct answer they give. To get your G Money wallet now, dial star 422 hash. The rules of this round, we're going to pit specialists against specialists in the subject areas of English, Maths, Science and General Knowledge. For each right answer, you score 10 points. There is no deduction in this round for the wrong answer. Are we all clear on that? So may I please have only the English specialists stay and the others please leave. Thank you. Right, so welcome to round four, the one-on-one -on -one round. We have a new contestant in Dahin Shelley School. Please introduce yourself. I am Nuruddin Mubashir. Welcome, Nuruddin. Okay, two questions on English. You are to spell correctly by providing the missing letters. All right, so where the missing letters are, I will replace with dash, dash. Are we ready? I'll give you a definition to help you as well. The word is spelled as follows. B-I, B-L-I-O. Dash, dash, I-L-E. This is a person who collects or has a great love of books. Missing letters, please. N and E. You should have buzzed though, but no, that's incorrect. Time's up, Nuruddin. We were looking for a bibliophile, so the missing letters were P and H, okay? Same preamble. I will give you dash, dash for missing letters and then the definition. So tell me what the dash dash is, okay? Don't forget to buzz. Dash dash, T-E-C-E-D-E-N-T. -E -E it's a thing or event that existed before or logically precedes another. Yes, Nuruddin. D-E. Incorrect. Akushka. P-E. 
That's also incorrect. I was looking for antecedents. So A-N is what I was looking for. Thank you, my English specialist. Thank you. Off you go. May I have my mathematicians? Thank you. Okay, so for maths, we have Princess from Kitasco and Rahman for Dying. Are we ready? First question. During an annual sale, Best Price offered a store-wide discount of 20%. Mrs. Helen, who is a member of the store, was entitled to an additional 10% discount on top of the discounted prices. What was the total discount Miss Helen enjoyed? 30 seconds. Princess. 70%. That's incorrect. 30%. That's also incorrect. I was looking for 28%. 28%. Second question. There are a total of 665 blue and red pens in a box. And the number of blue pens to the number of red pens is in the ratio of 3 to 4. Some black pens and green pens are added into the box. For every five red pens that are in the box, 12 green pens are added. In the end, the number of blue pens and black pens is a quarter of the number of red pens and green pens. What is the ratio of the number of black pens to the number of green pens? Right, that's Rahman. Two is to one. That's incorrect. Time's up. It was one to 24. Okay? Thank you, mathematicians. <laughs> May I please have the scientists, please? The scientists. Welcome, Nana Kweku for Dahin and Benedict for Kitasco. Two questions. Are we ready? Yeah? This organ is coated with a mucus-rich alkaline fluid from Brannett's glands. Projections in this organ are flattened in celiac disease. This organ is divided into the ilium, the jejunium, nanakweku. The small intestine. You are correct, small intestines. <laughs> Second question. Washington Irving popularized the myth that people believed in this theory until Christopher Columbus sailed the Pacific Ocean to get to the West Indies. For the point, name this conspiracy theory that alleges the world is not actually spherical. Nana Kweku. It is that the world was actually flat. You are correct. The theory that the world was actually flat. Otherwise known as the flat earth theory. Thank you, scientists. May I have my social scientists for the general knowledge round, please? Right, so I have Pius for Kitasco and Desmond for Dahin. Two questions. Can you both see the screens? Yes. Remember to buzz in. A picture is going to show up on the screen. For 10 points, you need to give me the name of the individual you see there, please. You're not sure? His name is Sam Altman, and he is the Open AI CEO. Okay? Second question. Another picture is going to show up on the screen. Identify the South African goalkeeper. You've not been watching the AFCON. His name is Ronwin Williams. Managed to save four penalties out of five. Amazing feat. You don't know him? Never mind. That brings us to the end of the fourth round. Okay? Can I have the other contestants on the stage, please? Welcome back. Let's see what the score at the end of the fourth round is. Okay, so we are at the end of the fourth round, the one-on-one -on -one round, also dubbed the G-Money round. And in this round, Dahin managed to make a 100 Ghana CD from G-Money. Well done. The scores are now 20 points to Dahin Shelley School. And Kitasco were not able to score in this round. A round of applause for them, please. Right, so we are at the end of this contest. Let's see who is going through to the next round. Okay, so at the end of this contest, we have Ketasco MA Basic School at 75 points, 
but going through to the next round is Dahin Shelley School with a score of 95 points. Well done to Dahin Shelley. A round of applause to both teams. Okay. Okay, so after the first contest, we have Dahin Shelley School going through to the next round with a score of 95 points and a G Money wallet amount of 100 Ghana City. We'll see you in the next contest. Thank you.